Hi and hello everyone and welcome back to our Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition multiplayer series featuring myself, Berg787 and Grey Hunter. Say hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so we have left off uh, here in the severed hand. We are about to go through this door and see what's going on. Just quickly, I've noticed, what's going on with Adria? What's this little, like, kind of upside-down lightning bolt on her? Uh, the red one? Yes. That's static charge, so she can zap people, Ah, remember? right, yeah, of course, of course, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> she, she randomly but... just uh, gives off bursts of electricity, and That's sometimes right. they're successful at killing things. Yeah, sorry, new, new recording session, sir. As, as, as a lot of times I forget everything, so <laughs> there we go. All right, let's, uh, you ready? You gonna go through the door? Indeed, let us go. All right. <gasps> Three of these big fuckers. Actually, you know what, boys? Maybe move out the way. Let the, let the tanks get in there. Your time draws near. We will kill these things. Hopefully zap what, them. Dwarf, Dwarf Shanks is all right, man. You just stand in there, like, taking on all four of them. Watch this. Well Come on. Die, you bastards. No, whoa, 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 hold on. What? Ah, that's right. I just realized that Schmendrick was, um, I mean, Schmendwan was, was a changed what he's doing. He's only got f f 10 pebbles left. Oh, and one other thing I need to do is go offline. Oh. Because I'm getting pop ups. <laughs> Sorry about this. Um, See, that's the benefit of a yeah. software like OBS. You don't have to worry about people messaging you that it doesn't show up. It wasn't someone messaging me, to be fair. It was just coming up saying, so-and-so has started to play so-and-so game. Yeah, no, sorry, I've got a little bit of an issue, because, yeah, Shemendwan only has 10 bullets left, and they're, like, 10 plus 1 bullets. So he's going to have to... Well, I suppose his armor class is minus 2, so... He could get he into fisticuffs. I think he'd survive yeah. it. I'll just have to keep an eye on him as well. Yeah, you just want to be careful what you what you got yeah. attacked by. There we go. But I'm here. Next time we pop back to town, to I need to buy some bullets. <laughs> it might help. <laughs> and a few. This this kind of looks trappy, but it I does. Don't know. Do we want to go left or do we want to go straight up through the next set of doors? What is this? There's something we can actually do with this. It looks like an elevator. All oh, right. Okay. Well, then we don't want to go up then yet. No. Let's, I, I... Uh, I, I don't have a burning desire to go anywhere. That's not this level for now. Alright, that's fine. See, this looks like a trap too. Yeah, I'm expecting a bunch of shadow goblins. Or orcs. Or both. Probably goblins. Or both, yeah. <laughs> Just for Just something appear. different. Yeah. Or more you undead. I was going to say, there's been quite a... Oh, what's going on? Who's casting something? Uh, a burning skeleton. Oh! You're on fire. Where did that come from? It didn't really... Uh, out of the darkness. He's like in the area that we can't see yet. How can he, keep... How can he see me? Well, maybe he's just got a better vision range than you do. Yeah, there, oh, he, there is. he is. Oh! Well, and you're on fire again. There's also a uh, oh, shadowed also... goblin. Yeah, what Hello. the hell's he doing? I don't know where it um, came from. Well, all right. I think he's used. I don't think he's got more than two fireballs. I'd be surprised. So let's go and. All right. Shall we? Shall we rush him then? Well, there doesn't seem to be. I mean, I can go and have a look if there's any more of him. But like, it just seemed like it was him. By oh shit, he's got another spell. Yeah, he's got a friend. It's all right. I made him fail his spell. I think so. All right. I will get in between you and the the bad things. The bad things. Indeed. Oh, that's that's. What's that? That looks bad. There's a guy casting spells. Uh, and Andrea is getting hammered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I've put, so, oh, there's two guys casting spells. Alright. Um, I'm going to put Lady Grey on the guy closest, and I'm going to send Juno at the guy who's sitting at the back. You know what you might want to do? Are you yes. uh, When you say sitting at the back, are you firing? Because I was going to fire a stink cloud at him. Oh, okay, yeah, do that instead, and we'll, we'll fight the undead here. Yeah. You need me? By all means. I just figure if I'm smacking them in the face, they can't yeah, really yeah, cast yeah, magic. Yeah, no, no. What's up with that serrated skeleton? He looks a bit mean. Well, he sounds like a probably a, a bad thing. I don't know. Okay. All he right, sounds bad. Go. I don't like him. Damn, these guys hit hard. All right, well... And the Shattered I, I Souls fired. are unaffected. Yeah, I was about to say, okay. Yes. For some reason, I thought they were just, like, 
Uh, it was a bit silly, actually. It's probably I shouldn't have thought about it. I don't know. It's magical, so I, I, I would say that's kind of logical to assume it would do something. Whether it would be super effective, yeah, maybe maybe that's a little. Sorry, I just need to keep pausing to make sure my people don't run off into the stink. Yeah, yeah, I just realised that that's what uh, Lady Grey was about to do. I'm here. Right, I'm going after the the soul guys because they're yeah. really starting to irritate me. But I might. Ooh, Berg Fighter Thief is in a bit of trouble. So I got. Is, uh, exactly is... You need me? I don't know. I got one of the shattered souls, so I'm gonna put Lady Grey on taking out the other one. And Adria should throw a heal down if she's got it on. Sorry, so I'm Berg. using potion. So no, it's just, sorry, sorry, sorry. You, you use some potions, and I'll drop him back. Oh, there's ah, there's a little goblin right behind. Ah, I see. I see. Is there any more of them? There could be more. Maybe. I can only see one. All right, she's gonna go after the goblin then. It's alright, sorry. I've got Shmend one. You just deal with those guys up there. I'll fight these guys down here. Yeah. Okie dokie. Serrated skulls and come here. Die. There we go. Ah, that arsehole's hanging out in the stink. Yep. And he's apparently uninjured by my magical bow. All right, don't this worry. this don't is worry. going swimmingly. Uh, oh, what worry. have we got that we can annoy him with? I can fire a flame arrow at him. That's probably a good plan, actually. Ah, there we go. We'll fire it up. Eat up! Use this, too. Yeah, he's injured now. Magic on magic. Come on, Shmend One. He came out of Show the cloud. You, you have, you have made a grave error. You have made a grave error. What? Where'd he go? He he died. He just died. Yeah, I killed him. Ah, oh, he took. Ah, oh, it's because the acid arrow was on him still. Yep. So I hit him with the acid arrow, and he took five more damage. He did. Because <laughs> it almost looked like he did like some sort of spell to disappear. <laughs> there we go. Dark. Um, Mortis. Carrium. Indeed. We actually handled that quite well. That could have been a bit trickier than... Yeah, yeah it, went, it went pretty well, I think. Oh. We didn't have any serious troubles. No. And everyone's pretty good on the health points thing. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to get some more arrows out there. The Give the word. Consider Do you need done. more arrows? Uh, good question. No, I'm good for now. I don't need tons. What do you want? I've got some of the, uh, the the plus two arrows in reserve as well. Um. Okay. We get to. There's nothing actually in this room, is there? No. I don't see anything. Uh, no. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's any lootable containers. It's actually done. This actual level. So we've we've got to go to the. So it is. Oh no! That elevator. Uh, that elevator that we walked past takes us down to the second level. So we want to go. Ah. Want to go basically to the middle of the map. If you click on the map screen, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Right. It's the staircase that's the one below the middle. Yeah, to, to the fourth level. Yeah. Okay. Maybe heal. I mean, maybe look rest. Well, we're just before we go up there uh, as well. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Oh, Ooh, why did I just trap? Spring a trap like an idiot. For some reason I thought we'd walk through there, but of course we hadn't. Oh shit, what else is it? Oh, he's poisoned. He's poisoned and confused, which is a little Ugh. bit um, annoying, because I can't actually get him to drink some drink some antidote, and I don't have any poisoned... Yeah, okay, alright, well hopefully he'll, he'll come unconfused before he dies poisoned. Yeah. Wait, hang on, doesn't um doesn't Dwarf Shanks have a, have a thing for that? No. No, not for poison. Oh, is it just disease? I thought he had, like, a, a slow poison <laughs> thing. Yeah, he does. I'm not using it, though. Ah. There we go. It's all alright. Funnily enough, at the same time, his uh, confusion wore off. I don't know if the Cure Light Wounds actually healed his confusion as well. <laughs> it seemed quite coincidental. Okay, um... What crazy random rest. happenstance. Yes, yep. rest away. Always seems like we're resting in the same spot, according to this cutscene. 
<laughs> I like that though. Mm. It's like we just we don't have any new places to go. No, not at all. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, can't believe we didn't get ambushed. I'm happy about that. I can say that as a negative. Um, okay, so up the stairs. Why not? Let's be intrepid explorers. That's it. Walk around the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> it apparently loaded, according to this. Well, I think because she's near enough. Yeah. And she, vicinity. she's clicked to actually go up there, so that's why. Mm. Consider it done. Feels. Oh, who's this? Hello. I paused it. What's his name? He is Lathias. Lathias. Is this the guy who was like killing the squirrel? Maybe. For blade and faith. I don't know actually. He's um. He's not I listed as evil. I have defended the hand of Salad <laughs> Saldarin at all costs, and will continue to do so. Cursed with my unlife. My duties remain clear. I stand guard against those who would defile what remains of Seldarine's hand. I see. Well, then you have no quarrel with us, for we are not here to do more damage to the hand. We actually came to see a man about a thing. I will be the judge of that. Speak your intentions clearly. I feel like we just have to match his large ham. Like, we, ca we can't just say, well, actually, we came here on a, on a quest. We have to be evil plagues the land. We seek yeah. the aid of your master. Well, I assume he's your master. Yeah, you'd think so, hopefully. Otherwise, you know. Could be, could be like a Yoda, Luke Skywalker thing, where it's sort of like Luke thinks he's looking for Yoda when he's actually met Yoda. Yeah? Maybe. But this Maybe. guy's named. Yeah. Maybe it's so a coming Yoda. disguise. It's not Yoda. But anyway, <laughs> evil places are okay. It does. Perhaps you are not the miscreants I had thought you were. If that were if if what you say is true, it is my duty to aid you if it will further the ways of Seldarine. I am Lephias Enaril, blade slinger singer? Blade singer? <laughs> Why not <laughs> of, both? Of the Seldarin. What the fuck's a blade singer? Singer. Well, well, presumably it's like you know a, a knight of some kind, like a like an elven swordmaster. Sounds, like, sounds more like like a um, like a blacksmith. Like he sings to the blades to make them. You know. Well, like do do we want to ask him about it then? Because I'm assuming that's what number one does. Oh really? Oh okay. I well, I assume so because number one is like, what do you do here? And number two is, we need to find a guy. Help us. All right, so, well, Phil, you, you, you choose. Honestly, I think finding Laryl is kind of more important. We can always come back to this guy. Indeed, okay. So, so you we know, need we, we need to find Laryl. Can you help us? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have not seen Laryl in some time. I know that during the fall of the Hand, he and his wizards locked themselves atop Labalus Tower. They sought a way to save our people through magic. But from looking around, something must have gone terribly wrong. Seek a way into Labalas Tower. Perhaps you will find an answer there. Indeed. Well, many thanks, so Lathias. <laughs> thanks. Is that it? We're not even going to ask him about his duties. All right. Bye-bye well, now. Oh, I think we should probably explore this area first and see if there's anything uh, around here that might point us in the right direction. Because he's, okay. he's not really told us where to go. He's just like... Is he invisible? Like, what's the deal with him? He's, like, kind of half invisible. He... I think, he looks he's, a bit I think he's like the goblins and the orcs. He's, like, kind of dead, but not really. Okay. And he's also apparently he... Spock. Because he's, he's saying about the, the needs, needs of the many. Because yeah. no, he does look a bit see-through, that's all. Yeah, I'm thinking he's, like, a shadow... Like like the goblins were like they've they've been kind of see through as well. Well, you know what? That makes him evil in my book. Let's kill him. <laughs> Somehow, right. I think that would probably be a bad idea. He he looks okay. scary. Very. Should we go through the door or this path that's actually like open? Uh I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Should we explore this like this entire floor and then look around? Let's not open doors first. Okay. Basically. 
So let's go to this path. All right, well, why not? Let's uh, let's let's see what's down this way. Let's see what's It leads down to a new area. Okay, well then forget about that. <laughs> uh, let's go down this way then. Let's go down south. Okay. You don't think this area is trapped, do you? I mean, old fucking, what's his name? Well, I don't think so, because he's like, he's just wandering around. I think this might be like the, just the central hub kind of level. Safe haven. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Where we can like rest. Possibly. And not have to worry about being ambushed. I don't know, like there's, there's a broken elevator there. At least, yeah, oh, yes. according to the tooltip, it's broken. Yes, I see. That thing leads to oh, There's another area. staircase, yeah. And there's another door. The room that we just passed looks kind of like a storehouse, maybe, because I can see, like, lots of pots and urns and stuff. Is this metagame knowledge, or...? No, like, I can literally see, because you can see on the other side of the wall, like, when you walk past it. All right, well, let's not open doors first. Let's just make sure this area is all right first, and then we'll, uh... Is this going to be another one leading to... Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the feeling this is, like, a central hub thing. All right, okay, well... Although I like it, because that would imply that there's stuff to do around here. Yeah. It'd be good if there was, like, just some sort of random shopkeep. <laughs> it could sell me some bullets. That would be pleasant. Well, all right. seeing as I all these things lead explore. somewhere else, do you want to just open doors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, okay. I just uh, wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, I think that's fair. Oh. Hello. Oh, some woman. Who are you? Lech, Lechland. Alright, let's go and speak to Lechland. <laughs> oh god. I'm not in a woman's voice mood kind of thing. Greetings, sir! <laughs> welcome, welcome. Don't be taken back by all my wonderful items I have for sale. Oh, excellent, excellent. Come, come, my name is Lechland. I am a proprietor of this establishment. I don't know, what one do you want to go with? Let me just browse her stuff first, and then we'll talk to you. Alright, well, in that case, pick number two. We'd like to browse some of your fine wares. That's so handy. Wow, she's got some really good stuff here. Has she got anything good? She's got loads of bullets and arrows, which is nice. She's got rotted honey leather. What the hell does that do? A prized piece of honey leather. Honey leather is really like canvas used by elves to protect against rain and dampness. Although it takes... What? A moon-eaten thistle down. What the fuck's this? She's got elven boots and gloves and stuff like that. Do they do anything? Are they like magical items? Um, I need to see this for myself. Leave I think. I would. Yeah, I was gonna say. Just go and speak to her. And you'll see. Right, I, I don't it. know. I, no, no one can use them as far as I can see. Uh, it, it, it just basically they reduce cold resistance. Oh, yeah, this amuses cold. me. So because I interacted with her with a female. My first option has changed, and I could say, excuse me, I'm actually a woman, so please don't call me <laughs> sir. Okay. It's these right, little just... touches. These things, no, they make good. me happy. I'm going to buy a ton of bullets. Oh, she sells magical arrows. Yeah, she does sell magical That's arrows. That's interesting. Yeah. And but, apparently um, a fantastic loot. Well, we've only got 245 gold, so we can't really buy any of it. But I bought a shit ton of, of arrows. Uh, not arrows, bullets. These arrows we didn't actually need. I wonder if she'll buy some of the stuff that we've got. That's a good question, actually. Oh, she uh... will. She'll buy the small shield plus one for 800. That's pretty good. Yeah, and she'll take that spear that's totally worthless. Puny's poker. Yep, 2,400 for that. Uh, and actually, it'd probably be worthwhile me identifying some of the, the battle axe and the flail. Yeah, we've got. if we can sell them. And the Sanctified Morning Star. What did the Sanctified Morning Star do? Oh yeah, it gave extra level level two extra level one pre spells, which is pretty good. But if only we had the ability to use flails. Yeah. Well, to be fair, if we had the ability to use flails, I'd be using that one that's back in Kaldahar. That's true. And all of a sudden, we went from two hundred gold to five thousand gold. What do you <laughs> And she uh, has absolutely nothing worth buying. Well, I mean, that's not entirely true. I mean, buying buying the plus one arrows and stuff like that is good. But... Oh, I suppose. I suppose that's true. But, um... 
I don't know if I necessarily want to buy them. How much would it cost? But 30 arrows would cost almost a gr well, over a grand. That's not really worth it. Yeah, considering, like, because we've got bows that make us fire faster as well. Yeah. Like, four attacks around means that you're using four of those arrows. No, we'd, we'd, we'd be done with them very quickly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, they're nice and all, but you'd go, you'd eat through them so quickly at this point. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just uh, rejigging inventory slots. Oh, I passed a, a scroll that I had on me to Shmendwan. I see. I'm not sure if you want to learn that or sell it. Uh, that flail is pretty decent. Uh, Misery's Hand. Basically, 10% chance that the hit target will panic for four rounds. Four rounds is an awful long time. That, yeah, that uh, sounds amazing. And can strike creatures that require cold iron to hit. Huh. And it does a lot of damage against elves as well. I almost kind of want to keep it around in case we have to fight some elves. <laughs> well, can't hurt. I mean, we don't have anything that we particularly want to buy from this lady, so... Yeah. Hold on to it until yeah. we know we don't need it? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Basically. Let me just sell that spell as well. Uh, where is the spell? Who did you... Oh, you gave it to Shmendo one, right? Yes. Seeing as he is our mage and all. That, 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 um... <clears throat> We've got 5,700 gold now. That me that flail, would give, would, by itself, is worth 7,600. Damn. Yeah. I should have identified the battle axe. Oh, you didn't? You just sold it? No, 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 no. no. I, I've got it. It just needs identifying, but I didn't want to rest to do so. Um, should we speak to her a little bit more, see if she's got anything else interesting to say? Uh, if, if you want to, I kind of get the feeling that she's not going to be very helpful. She seems a little <clears throat> bit nuts. Okay. That's fine. Well, let's go to the next room then. Oh man, everyone in here is fucking shadowed. All yeah, shadowed. I'm, I'm getting a, a feeling about our friend Lathias, but there is a named guy in here. There's a yeah, Tomas. there is. I'm going to him. Yeah, there's nothing to actually like. St oh, there is stuff to actually look in. We'll have a yeah. look at that after. Talaris. Right. Talaris. Hello. Adventurers, huh? I never thought anyone of the living world would have made it up to these parts of the hand ever again. Nevertheless, let me present myself to you. My name is Telenus, Telenus Songbender, singer extraordinaire, master of the eight-string ma mandolin, lover of beautiful women, teller of grand tales, and best of all, minstrel to the hand. This guy already annoys me. Just because it's kind of a dick move, I think we should need to go with two. Question is reputation. How much of it is Why? true? Why, of course it's true. All of it. I could tell you tales of women swooning at my feet after reciting a few lyrics from my songs. You see, it all has to do with this voice I was born with. Some would say that a voice like mine could only be a gift from Corallon himself. But I'm not one to boast. Never in my life have I heard someone so full of himself. How can you insult the great Talanus like that? Never let it be said that Talanus the Magnificent was unforgiving elf was an unforgiving elf. Just apologize and we can call it even. You know what? I should go. I'm just <laughs> Number three. Number three hands down. This this guy. Unless you want to hear his songs. No, I don't want to hear his songs. He. I don't really want to have to fight him either. What is his purpose? See, Maybe he has. In here, but none that are actually useful. I don't really want to take him just in case they try and fight us because we've taken their potions. Mm. You know what I mean? Maybe he's like if you're a, if you have a bard in your party, then he's kind of interesting. Well, he can maybe teach you a song. Yeah, maybe. But, like, just... I, I don't see him being particularly useful. But Probably on that not. note, it's about time yep. to end the episode. Cool, Leo. Okay, so we are at sort of... Well, I don't want to say the midpoint of the seventh hand, but you know what I mean? We've come to a... Uh, 
a point past the first part. If that makes we sense. We made our way up it. We've made our way up yeah. the tower. And now we've got to go and find what was it? The tower of something or other? Labellus. Labellus. That was Labellus. Labellus. Yeah. Whatever, that, that place where the guy who we've come to see... They're never right at the beginning, are they? They always, like, go and hide off somewhere. They're like, fucking pricks, come down here and talk to us. But it's anyway, plot. we'll have to... Indeed, we'll have to march our way up there to um, go and see what the deal is. But until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 